Hello everybody and welcome back to a whole turkey's channel. Today we're talking the Back for Blood beta. Whoa! Whoa! I have been very excited to get my hands on this game and it does not disappoint. There are a ton of ways to change the game flow from their character selection to the playing card to their upgrade system. With the Ridden, we now see nine unique monsters to play across three base classes, with only three not playable in the beta. My favorite by far is the Hawker. What's a Hawker? Who can leap mad far and pin characters in place with web spit. We also have the Spitter, Exploder, Wretch, Bruiser, and Crusher. Gotcha. You can earn mutation points as Ridden, which you can then use to upgrade the Ridden classes or the Horde as a whole. And all the mutation upgrades will be shared by the whole team. We also have a selection of new closers that will all have unique abilities to them that will be similar to the decks and will act as buffs such as extra ammo or extra stamina. The decks are going to be selections of cards or bonuses that you will get to pull from as any game, campaign, or versus continues. And these cards will continue to stack on each other the more you pull. These will reset when you return to the lobby. And you will have different collections between your campaign and your verses to build decks with. How many cards you get to pull from the deck also differs between campaign and verses. Campaign will give you a few at the beginning and then one per safe house, while the verses will give you five per round. Versus is no longer the campaign as a PvP, but now is strictly time-based storm mode, where the first team of closers or survivors will set the time to beat, and the second team needs to have just one player survive longer to win that round and they're gonna go best two out of three rounds Got it. and the time the closers have to set their cards and scavenge for weapons leaves plenty of room for ridden antics there's also both a text and voice chat so you can coordinate with your team an exploder should go in there with Differing results. Oh, sh three exploders. That's one way to do it. The campaign has managed to retain all the core elements of Left 4 Dead while getting a new revamped feel, not only with the graphics of the game, but also with the elements. As you can see here, there are birds that you can startle, but not just by running through them. We get unlucky enough to shoot another bunch through a horde of zombies. So you do actually have to be very mindful of your surroundings as to not make the level harder than it needs to be, but don't worry, it will be plenty hard. After all that, there's going to be a training ground where you can get familiar with all the weapons and their attachments, which you are going to be using throughout the game and will be customizable to all of the weapons. You can even get into live shootouts with your friends as long as you're both in the training ground. <laughs> I promise I won't kill you this time. There were, however, just a couple bugs that we did notice. Take, for instance, the ability for some ridden to actually smash us through the wall. There are also problems with people getting kicked or leaving and then the party not being filled up, which would lead to situations which would be 2v4. There were some extra pinging noises that would come from the menu, as well as audio cues for injured survivors that would play at the very beginning of some rounds. There's this small amount of gap time at the end of the round, only if the ridden win. I believe it's meant to beat down the left survivors, but there's not enough time to finish them off. Even with all these hiccups, I am still so excited to play this game when it fully drops, and if you want to participate in the free beta with me now, you can still get in on the one that's open till the 9th by participating in the Twitch drops and viewing channels 
that are also participating in Twitch drops, that way you can receive your own free access code. There will be an open beta for anyone to join from the 12th to the 16th, and then after that, the official game will drop, and anyone who wants to play will have to play full price. I very much suggest getting in and getting on some of this gameplay now, and if you're anything like me, practicing before some of the real tournament starts and we get access to every player. I super appreciate and thank you guys. It would have been a lot easier for you guys to do nothing. But you chose instead to be here. So thank you. I want to remind you that I do not know where you are. And I do not know what time it is for you when you're watching it. So I'd like to wish you a good morning, a great day, and a nice night. I hope to see each and every single one of you back in here really soon. But until I do, please remember to take it.